Requiring no specific introduction to the world of audio technology and innovations, Sennheiser introduced to the world the predecessor of one of their most iconic over-ear headphone lineup called the Momentum 4 Wireless. With top-of-the-line specs and features, this pair of headphones appeared to have none other than renowned manufacturer Apple in their sightline. With similar specs and features, should Apple be worried and take precautions? Let's find out in our video today. Sennheiser showed off the world the newest addition to the Momentum lineup, the Momentum 4 Wireless, just a few days ago. The prime successor to the groundbreaking Momentum 3 quite obviously has some pretty big shoes to fill. And Sennheiser so far is aiming for the same high-end sound you're accustomed to from Sennheiser hardware, complemented with a revamped, modernized appearance. The cans, as ambitious as they are, are apparently competing with audio giants such as Sony and Apple and claim a battery life of up to a solid 60 hours. According to Sennheiser, the headphones offer, among other things, best-in-class sound, an advanced and adaptive noise cancellation feature alongside an exceptionally comfortable fit that's prone to spoil you. As a small but juicy cherry on top, they brandish the battery life of their headphones which are capable of running up to 60 hours. So why is the number so important? Well, compared to the tech giant Apple and their prestigious AirPods Max and other high-end headphone variants, Sennheiser can squeeze out roughly three times the battery life from the new headphones. Not only that, but the fast charging capability that comes with the cans means that just from 10 minutes of charging, you'll be getting up to, wait for it, six hours of runtime. The Momentum lineup has always prioritized the needs of a sophisticated listener by providing a sound that's allegedly superior to its peers. With Momentum 4, Sennheiser raises the bar once again thanks to features that include but are not limited to transparency mode, built-in EQ, a brand new sound personalization capability, and a lot more. You're also getting Sennheiser's signature sound, an audio profile that comes through the cans via an acoustic system that's made exclusively for the purest of audiophiles. The system is powered by a 42mm transducer, while the updated, revamped adaptive noise cancellation does what you expect from it but better in a manner where you'll be able to hear delicate audio details even under the noisiest of environments. The transparency mode, on the other hand, does the opposite and gives you access to the comparatively neutral ground for having a conversation without taking your headphones off. In terms of app controls, Sennheiser proprietary smart control app will let you take full advantage of an advanced equalizer to tune your own custom-made audio profile and listen to it the way you want. All while a pair of digital beamforming microphones that are placed in each headphone comes equipped with wind suppression and should play a big role in terms of communication. The design is built from the ground up to provide comfort all day through and through since it's lighter than its predecessor and took some uncanny inspiration from Sony and Bose. They come with a padded headband, cushioned ear pads, and a low friction hinge mechanism that should be relatively easy to adjust. The cans can fold flat, adding more comfort to the neck and should be given bonus points for being compact as you can easily shove them inside a bag or backpack without worrying about damage since it comes with a slim profile carrying case. As for additional features, the cans come with smart pause technology that stops the music when the headphones are taken off, but that's not something new. What's incredible though is the auto on-off feature that rapidly powers up the headset and shuts down automatically when not in use. And with multiple connectivity options, this incredible pair of headphones can be purchased officially from 23rd August for $349. As for the AirPods Max, you need to spend around $550 to get a pair which makes the Sennheiser Momentum a relatively better and much cheaper alternative and Apple, among other things, really should be worried cause Sennheiser is showing no signs of stopping anytime soon. But enough about that, what are your thoughts and opinions regarding the new Sennheiser headphone? Do you think that the Momentum 4 has what it takes to dominate Apple? We would love to hear from you. Do let us know in the comments section below and as for everything else, don't forget to like share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.